Welcome to intermediate number four. With this particular option, what we're going to be looking at is changing the mechanics very slightly. So we're focusing on that true full range of motion, which is going to make this slightly harder. So the idea with option number four is that we're going to be looking at that absolute top end of the range of motion for the pull-up. As I've mentioned a couple of times in this series, the idea of a full range pull goes all the way to the point where the forearm and the arm is parallel to the ground. And essentially where the pull, so you're pulling, transitions into a push. And this is what is truly a full range of motion pull up, getting to this position, not to this position. So the idea is we're going to be incorporating a little bit of speed and momentum to get ourselves higher. And so we can get past that little bit of semi top to the absolute full range top. To do that, as you start moving backwards, you're going to curve around the bar and make your way up higher so you can get your arms in a parallel position. So as you can see, I've added a little bit of speed and more power into this, so I can actually get my chest around and over the bar. As you start, if you are absolutely dead hang at the bottom and you were to move straight up, what would happen is you would actually hit the bar. So therefore we need to curve around it and to generate that curve, we, we can use a little bit of speed and momentum to pull backwards, up, around, to get higher. So now we've started working some true full range of motion pull-ups. We're aiming for this position here rather than our chin and our neck here. We're starting to get that full range. We're trying to get our forearms at this parallel position to the ground. We're now working real true full range of motion. And this is going to help us get closer for when we do muscle ups and climb ups, which we're gonna be addressing in different series. But this is gonna be a great way of transitioning into pushing actions when we get to that top pull action. The other great thing is this is awesome for pulling speed and power. When you are doing muscle ups and when you uh, graduate from this into harder and higher double taps or other movements where we're moving onto or above the bar, you need speed and you need power to be able to get up there. And this one is really going to help develop that. So really this type of pull up and working the true full range of motion of the pull up is actually not that scalable. We haven't got any variables to play with other than we just get to the top and come back down. We can play around with it with timings and other bits and pieces, but to begin with, this whole type of exercise is not that scalable. The other issue is that the full range of motion true pull-up is very hard to start with. It is very rare that we come across people who have practiced doing the pull-up all the way to this position. It is very common for everybody to finish pull-ups at this position at the neck or the chin and not go any further. And what you're gonna find is to begin with, from here to here, if you've not done this before, it is going to be very, very hard because your body is not used to that range of motion and you haven't done it before. Something else that we haven't mentioned yet, and that is kipping. The idea with kipping is we are using the momentum of a forward action. So when we start coming back down after the first pull, coming down, you're using the ligaments in your arms and the tension in your muscles as like a spring. And you're gonna pull forward and that spring action of pulling yourself back is going to help you get higher. Now the trouble is that that kip is actually not again that functional. And it's not something you want to get into the habit of doing because it means that you're not using the strength of your muscles, you're using the elasticity of your muscles to help you get higher. Lastly, the bottom section of the pull-up, as you do more of these full range of motion pull-ups, don't forget that you don't wanna miss this bottom section as well. Make sure you go all the way to the bottom, dead hang position, and then pull. 
what you'll find is, again, as you start becoming more fatigued, the top part is the bit that you'll be focusing on, but as you come down, you'll get to the position where there's actually still tension in your muscles, and they're still tense, so you can pull again. Try not to do that. Try and get away from keeping those muscles tense at the bottom, and try to go to the full dead hang. Wrapping up, intermediate number four is an absolutely great way to looking at the mechanics and looking at that full range of motion to enable us to become more functional. We're then gonna be able to move into other movements, as I've said, like double taps, muscle ups, climb ups, getting over the bar and onto the bar. You need to have that full range of motion and the more you practice it, the more functional you're going to become.